survivalist here. I'm not really you know, that much of a survivalist, but I had to show you guys this awesome thing that I got for my bike. I uh, got it on eBay. Uh, it was like around a hundred bucks. And uh, uh, do you remember what they call it? No, I don't remember what they call it either, but uh, it's kind of like a, a bike caddy or something, right? A uh, bike carrier or something. Alright, so I just had to make this video because this thing's awesome. Um, just recently, a uh, uh, wife was in a car accident and the car's a little damaged right now and I'm kind of fighting with the insurance company right now and we're at a waiting period. Uh, to see if uh, we can get the insurance company to handle that. And, uh, but in the meantime, you know, we still have to go places and uh, still got to go up to the grocery store and, you know, get groceries and shop. And, uh, you know, we've, uh, we've got a water filtration system and anybody who has those water filtration systems, you know, you got to put those salt, you know, salt pellets in it. And uh, they're pretty heavy. So anyway, I was so impressed by this thing. I'll just go over a couple of little once-overs about it, and then I'll show you how much weight I just towed about, uh, we're about two and a half, maybe three miles from the uh, grocery store up the street. And uh, let me go over some features with this thing. And um, uh, there, there's two different models that I know of right offhand. There's one that has like a yellow cover, right? This is like the next better model that was only like about, I think, $10 or so more expensive, that's all. And uh, it's the red one. And uh, it's a higher weight rating. Um, so what I did is, it says that this thing can uh, tote 180 pounds max weight, right? And uh, I believe we just put that to the test today. Um, the, uh, the tires uh, says you can put a max pressure in them of 60 pounds. Uh, 60 psi. While I was at the grocery store and I weighed and I got this thing weighted down, uh, the tires kind of bowed a little. So I just took my little tire pump here, you know, on my bike, and I just kind of pumped it up. It's just a little one of those little hand pumps, and I put about 50 pounds of air pressure in them on you know both tires. And uh, let me mention this: uh, these little lights here we purchased at Walmart. They do not come with it, uh, and we got a red one and a white one in a package for five bucks. And they're just cheap little lights, and uh, you know, you just turn them on, they blink, and then they don't blink. So I uh, got those. They do not come with uh, this carrier system. I purchased those separately. Uh, this thing's got this awesome hinge system here, uh, where it's, it's spring-loaded, right, to handle weight. And uh, what you want to do is this is like a safety strap. And uh, what you do is you just kind of wrap it around here. You know, what I do is do a wrap like that. And then I do another wrap in, right? Then I bring it over here. I like to put it through here and then reconnect, right? Just like a little safety strap, right? So this uh, connecting arm is awesome. This thing has like a kind of like what they call, you know, a cotter pin thing, right? And uh, it comes with this L-shaped bracket. You'll loosen up your screw here for your back tire. Put this little L-shaped bracket on here. It's got this spring-loaded arm, right, that adjusts, and you basically just slip it on there, line up the hole, take your, you know, cotter pin thing, slip it in, and make sure it latches, and then make sure, you, you know, you don't forget to do your safety strap on there, okay? So, and it goes right onto a bike. This is my mountain bike that I got. Actually, last Christmas, so it's so funny that I bought the wife and I bikes, man, like last Christmas, because, uh, or maybe it was the Christmas before. I think it was last Christmas, but funny enough, we're putting some use to them now, and uh, it works great. Um, so this thing is really awesome. Uh, 
one thing that I like about this one is it's, it's got like these protective bars on the side, you know. So funny enough, I should mention this. Uh, if you have a typical size width door going in and out of your house, yeah, you're not going to roll this thing in and out. It's too wide. So we pick it up, the both of us, and we carry it out. It's, it's really light. You could carry it out yourself, honestly. So anyway, this is all reflective. This is all reflective. You know, these tires are decent. Um, I may upgrade to like a, maybe a more tougher tread or something, but awesome, man. So let me show you, because I had to make this video. I am so impressed with this unit. Uh, the eBay seller that I purchased this, this thing from, after I get done uploading this thing onto YouTube, I'm giving that guy the link because he got this thing shipped to me like within a week, all right, within a week. And uh, I got it from... Uh, I forget what state it was. I think it was Wisconsin. Yeah, Wisconsin or Minnesota, one of those things. And that came down here to southwest Florida within a week, man. So I'm going to hook this guy up with a cool video. So let me show you guys what I just hauled in this puppy, man. And that's why I am just so impressed with this thing. All right. So this is our 40-pound bags of salt, all right? We've got one 40 pound bag of salt. We've got a two gallon thing of uh, laundry cleaner, which uh, from my wife is telling me that a gallon weighs eight pounds. So because this is two gallons, it should be 16 pounds. So we got 16 pounds there. All right, we got a. 16 pound bag of gravy train dog food because our dogs love it. So we add 16 and 16, we got 32, right? Alright, 32 plus 40. What do we got? 72. No? Did I do that wrong? No, I did not. I caught you guys. Alright, so now we got another 40 pound bag. And oh, another. 40 pound bag. So what do we got here folks man? That's 120 pounds of salt bags for the water filtration system plus another 32 pounds. What does that make folks? That makes what, 32 and 120 that's 152 pounds man. We actually did have some more stuff. We had like uh, some coffee creamers and then we had some uh, big old roll of paper towels, which pretty much weighs nothing, but uh, what else did we have? We had a gallon of milk, right? So a gallon of milk, eight pounds, right? We'll add... Two cans of dog food, but those aren't heavy either. Yeah. It's so like one or two pounds. Eight, another eight pound gallon of milk. So what did we have? 152, add another eight pounds. That's 160 pounds right there. And uh, I also have... Hold on, let me show you something. Yeah, I got my bag of tools. This is probably, you know, I got some wrenches and uh, some pliers, and uh, got my bike locks, you know, in here. I would have to say this is probably another, maybe eight or ten pounds, you know. I'd say ten. Yeah. So say we're say we're pushing at about 170 pounds. All right, easy. 170 pounds. I just towed about three miles on this puppy. And, uh, man, it didn't even blink at it. <laughs> Funny, i got to mention this. If you have ever driven a truck, moved somewhere, or towed a vehicle, right? You know when you're pulling off that stoplight or that stop sign, you can feel the weight behind you. You know, you go and then you feel the weight, right? <laughs> and when you're going up hills and going down hills, you're like, uh, uh, you know, you feel it, you know? just like towing a car or something. It's actually an interesting experience, man, on a bike, right? That was unique. So uh, anyway, so you'll feel the weight, but I swear to you, man, uh, easy, 170 pounds, man. This thing took it like nothing, and uh, as long as you got the gump in you to do it, 
Um, I bet you this thing probably could even probably do more weight than that, possibly. Don't quote me on that. That's just my opinion and not what the manufacturer rates this thing at. They rate it at 180 pounds, man, max. And uh, probably if you're going to do 180 pounds, you probably want to keep these uh, air at probably about 50 or 55 PSI, you know. But I just had to make this video, bro. Um, it was fun. Uh, it was a workout. You know, I am sweating a little bit. But I had to make this video because, uh, man, this thing was awesome. And it really, uh, it's really helping in a time where, you know, my one and only power is kind of a little wreck. Uh, and that's it. Kelly the Survivalist. And uh, get yourself one of these things if you need them. They're awesome.